Miguel, thanks for being with us today. Uh, our Thank first you. question, our first question, as always, uh, what's your background? What did you do before you know starting your company? Sure. Um, I started the, um, studying business management, um, but before that, I actually studied economics for a year and a half, and just didn't like much the course and went away for a while for a year and then came back and study business uh, business management did like several internships and during the course and actually in the end of the course we had the idea to to build a company uh, so tell us about the company how did you guys come up with this idea of shoes and online retail yeah uh the, the thing is uh, we once we were talking, me and my my business partner, and we were talking about like we are best friends since two years old, and we were talking about this. That I went to a store and didn't find the shoe that I, the color of the shoe that I wanted, and we started to figure out uh, if we could actually choose the color and not be as expensive as it would be. In a, like any other companies that have like custom shoes, or actually uh, the person that have to wait a lot so much longer to get like this customized shoe as well. So we start searching and searching, and uh, take two years of research on on how we're going to do it, and we came up with this idea of the sticker, right? So we have like actually a sticker that you can choose. What whatever gonna come in your sticker, and then we just handmade glue it in a shoe, and like from we just have our own models and everything, and we come up with this way to to in the shoe and doesn't doesn't go off and doesn't get wet or something and just looks looks really different from any other shoe that we have. And by the way, how did you come up with the name? What was it hard to choose the name for the company? Yeah. It was wasn't that hard because we, as we wanted and as we do now, we want to create the idea of movement and be like always in movement, always changing the company, always having new products and new ways of doing things. And we just came with the idea of move, like in English, M O V E, but we put it to Portuguese word and put. M U V, so move is the same way. The same phonetic. Uh, cool. So you guys basically target only Brazilian markets, or you want to expand further? Uh, we would love to expand, but we want to actually still have a good service for our clients. So it's pretty difficult to have good services overseas. So we, we are actually thinking how we're we gonna do to sell overseas yet. We don't know for now. Can I ask, since you guys are based in Brazil, what's the hardest part, you know, in, in having your own business in Brazil? Yeah, the hardest part for us is that we have so many taxes for everything, and to to build your own brand of even shoes, it's hard to to find places that produce in small scale because everyone just export exports everything. Uh, we don't have our like factory of shoes, but we just do the design, designer thing of it, and it's really hard for us to get to the, this this fabric, and they can do a small scale for us. And I think the biggest challenge is still the taxes and all the how many things you have to pay in here to have your business going, and um, and we are. Challenge now for the logistics in Brazil is pretty tough as well. Like big, big distances and really expensive logistics for trucks and everything. So it's pretty much the two challenges for us now is the taxes and the logistics. So if someone orders uh, something online from your website, so how how long does it normally take? You know, the product be delivered. Depends if it's a big city, a capital city, uh, it takes at least for the normal way from like uh, going through tracks and not from planes, would take at least five, five business days to get to anywhere. 
and then you can send like by plane but it's much more expensive and this takes like two or the next day or two days only how how many people currently work in your company and what's your personal role as well yeah we actually we are four people <laughs> and we uh because we don't have to we don't uh we we produce for like a person buys a website and then we produce it we don't have a stock in it and my role is is and the other two partners are everything come on if you we go to the events we go everywhere and everyone has like all the roles because i am a designer as well i'm take care of the business i work in the communication and i think that the thing that we have together the three partners are that we work really well together we can just give away taxes to to any of them like any of each of us and like we can do everything so it's pretty much i have some taxes some tasks to do and i just okay i can't do this this and that can you do it and like the other one do it or anything. We organize for everyone to 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 have as many as as much tax tasks as they could, and and, and everyone learn to do everything. What's your favorite part? You know, in being an entrepreneur, what do you think is the best part in it, and what's the worst as well? Okay. Um, I think the best part of it is when you get recognition for it, uh, something that we do or any idea that we have and, and you see it's going good or just just get, gets it. Um, the bad part of it is you don't have like more, you don't have much life anymore, right? Because it's, it's kind of like your son or something or your daughter that you have to raise it and, and you've been working like 24 hours a day because you have your phone on and everything and your emails on your phone and everything. So just comes like information or someone calls or problems happens all the time. So that's the, the, the worst part of it. But I think I love it because having your ideas all the time and, and, and you getting recognized for it is really awesome. Do you take a break from time to time? Let's say Sunday, you don't pick up the phone, you know, no one can find you, yeah, or you work pretty much all the days? No, no uh, Sunday we, we usually just rest because uh, either way, there's no no selling much on Sundays in the internet here in Brazil. And people are, and like we have, we have to do a, a break to, to get your head going well. So usually Sundays, and and some salaries is still don't work as well. Right. But just yeah, the last question about the production process. Uh, you know, the the our readers they really enjoyed your design when they come on the website. You do yourself. You, you purely by yourself in terms of coming up with all the colors and designs and stuff, or someone helps you with this. Yes. Uh, the the biggest uh, thing that we actually uh, the biggest thing that people actually liked uh, our brand. Mm -hmm. Is that we have a, a big crowdsourcing thing? Like any artist can can send for us any kind of design, and they get paid for it, and we put it on the website. So the thing that that is, they send the design for us, and then uh, we can say, ah, oh, you should do this, you should do this better, because we just see what are the best ones or. We say if it is going to get well in a sneaker, right? So, and then we send to him again, oh, you should do this size or this other size, this format, PSD or point AE. And you, everyone can do it. So, as soon as you get, you get approved, we put on the website, we have a small profile for each artist, and they, they get like 30, Guys for each style, so everyone just just kept getting what like the the uh, rewards, and they have like a shoot put the art on, so every, anyone can do it, and we are like any kind of artist can do it, and that's the thing that makes her really custom because it's not just uh, the way we think, but the way everyone thinks.
that sounds like a great model. At the end of our program, we always have a table thing instead of questions. And we ask you a simple um, question, and then you pick up one of the answers at the end. Okay. Steve Jobs or Bill Gates? Jobs. Um, <laughs> iPhone, Blackberry, or HTC? Um, iPhone. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Going to a party or staying home? Party. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes or BMW? Uh, Mercedes. Fruits and vegetables or fast food? Uh, fast food. Egg or chicken, what came first? Uh, egg. Being married <laughs> or not being married? Not being married. God believer or atheist? Atheist. The very last question. For those guys who are watching you right now and they want to start up their own business, they might have some doubts. What would you advise them? Um, the first advice I gave is focus on your, like what you want to do and work really hard and don't give up easily because is you have like a lot of challenges and you're gonna fail a lot of times but anytime you succeed is much better than the fail one so just try and try and and that's it just don't give up it was miguel marinho from move custom shoes from brazil to interrupt